Hello, so this is the first in a series of videos that I'm planning to make on makeup for Halloween, which will happen leading up to Halloween. So the first step, because first we're going to do zombies, that's what we're doing today. Living dead, zombies, you know, that whole kind of thing, which is really popular right now. Yeah, and in case you have not seen Falling Skies, it's a very good show and you should go watch it. I like it a lot. Um, so, the first step is to put on something that's going to make your face pale. Even something that can make your face look kind of gray tinged. Um, and I use translucent powder, but you can use, you know, you can use baby powder if you want. Unfortunately, neither of these things has a gray tinge, and I do not recommend using that gumpy, gumpy, that like really gross kind of clumpy makeup that they sell that's like that jelly stuff that you have to put all over your face. It's really thick and heavy cream. Would not recommend that. I would not use that. So my face is just going to be pale, and there's going to be no grayness to it. So once you've done that, since I already did that, um, we're going to move on to highlighting. And highlighting sounds nice and pretty, but it's not. Um, basically, you're going to highlight right, so see like the middle of my ear, the little knobby thing? You highlight right here. And I'm using my Coastal Sense Warm Palette, but you can, you can use whatever. And I'm actually going to use a color that's not really gray. It's kind of a grayish blue. And I'm just going to start, whoops, right from here. And I'm just going to kind of shade. This will look really creepy. And that's obviously the goal. So I'm going to kind of continue doing this. Can you see it? I can see it. Ta -da -da! And look at that. It's like slenderized this side of my face. Kind of weird. So I'm going to continue to... I can't see it and I can't figure out how to, um, you know, like make it bigger and better. Like I can't... Now I'm going to do the other side. Starting in the middle of the ear and bringing the color. I hate these baby hairs. They're so annoying. It's like, go behind my ear. Like, seriously. Once again, this is not a perfect color gray. It's a kind of a, it's almost like a denim-y gray. Blue denim kind of color. This is going to terrify my mother, by the way. Oh, that's the wrong way. I just did it. I am having, I cannot tell what I'm doing. It's really problematic. Okay, there we go. Now I can see things. So I'm just going to continue to build that up. Oh, it's very creepy. Um, you really just want to make sure you're really, you're really hollowing out your cheekbones. And as you can see, they'll be, end up being a larger clump up here than down there. So start from the base and bring it up. You want it to be pretty even looking. This is kind of just a zombie basics movie. It's not really a movie. Did I say that? Zombie basics kind of video. Now it looks like I have a beard. That's attractive. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to kind of... Use this and blend it down. Blend in, blend in, blend in. Da, 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 da. Look at all that grossness. Um, so now that I have that, ooh. Um, now I'm going to, I'm going to do the eyes. And I am wearing some eyeshadow from earlier in the day. So you might just want to put on like mascara and stuff. Um, and this is going to be super creepy. No need to wear eye makeup, you know. I mean, eye helpers for underneath your eye. When you can just do this. So, I'm going to grab that same color. And I'm just going to put it right underneath my eye. And I'm really going to, like, yeah, it looks like I got punched, doesn't it? Because it's blue. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye.
Looks like I got punched, right? Or like I've not slept in 20 years. Kind of difficult, because I'm not 20. Yep, still looks like I got punched. That's okay if it looks like at first you got punched. So, now you're going to take that denim gray and just go over your eyelid. And it's okay to go right here in this funny little space. Look at that. I still look like I got punched. Now is when you grab the black and you just do circles. You can do that again. Grab a ton of black and just do circles around your eye. You'll look dead in no time. The do I look dead? I hope so. Okay. Okay, so the thing is, is, um, really love messing these big spaces. Look at that. Isn't that so attractive? It is, isn't it? Whoops, it's the other side I'm trying to fix. Um, <sighs> so then what you can do is you can make your lips look paler by adding, putting, just put concealer over them. But you really need to keep them moisturized. That's really, like, you don't even know how important that is. I can't stress the importance of that. Mm, um, but now I'm going to move on to teach you a more intricate kind of way of doing this. Um, so it goes like this. Here we go. This is putting to test, putting to the test, I guess, not putting to test, um, a Sephora makeup idea that they put on their website called, like, Sugar Skull or something. And I'm actually going to use a Sephora eyeliner for this. So basically what happens, and you can check this out on their Facebook page, unless you don't have Facebook. They're going up and around. Looks kind of funny, like butterfly antenna. Up and around. Yeah, that one didn't get up so high. Then, you're going to start right... I'm kind of looking at their picture, so... Start right here and go up. Bend up. Bend up. Yay! By the way, the next one of this that I make is going to be so exciting, you're not even going to be able to contain yourself. No, really, you won't be able to. Yep, that's lopsided. But I'm not good at this. People need to remember that. Then starting in the bridge of the nose, because remember, you don't really have a nose. You're going like, that was a great line, wasn't it? And back up. Whee! Don't worry, this is all going to be filled in, so it'll end up being kind of semi-pretty. So these are kind of like unnecessary. Why is it not working anymore? Unnecessary things. Like, your skull, obviously, does not really have all these pretty turns. I guess you kind of knew that, though. Then up here, you're going to do little dots. So this is an extension. Once again, you do not need to do this. Gosh, I'm really having trouble here with this thing. It wants to stop working on me. Okay. Um... Next, we're going to kind of do the chin. Gosh, this is really not working. Look at that. It's completely flat. Now I have to use another one. Okay, I'm going to use a liquid one this time because this might work better. I'm sorry. I'm really bad. Really bad at drawing. I cannot believe what would happen if this, like, Ended up at school somehow. I would be so embarrassed. It's very embarrassing. These are your stitches.
Don't ask me why there are stitches, like... Who gets their mouth sewn up? Wow, it makes my lips actually look really big. Okay. So, the next step is to outline the eyes like so. Really attractive, I know. There are so many lines going on, I'm not even going to remember like what I'm supposed to be coloring in what. Da, da, da. Mm, eyeliner tastes bad. Okay. <sighs> now, everything pretty much gets painted in blue. Time to grab a blue. Uh-oh. Everything's falling over. Okay, so for the blues, because all the drawers are open in my makeup thing, I'm going to use Coastal Sense any color eyeshadow palette, just the regular one. Can't tell you how great I think I look right now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So you want to use like a, a really pretty blue because the rest of you is going to look not so pretty. So you got to pick like a... I hate... You know what I hate about Coastal Sense palettes? Like I really like them, but I really hate that you do something in one color and you look down and like, oh my gosh, that color's not there anymore. I mean it is, but you just don't even know what color you used. It's just really upsetting to me. Really upsetting. Okay, it's not really that upsetting, but... You know, you have to, like, search around until you find it. So, basically, by doing this, if you see any children, you're not going to scare them as much because you're going to be wearing blue all over your face. It's kind of like a... blue blue really blue. Blue, it's so blue. Okay, I'm gonna sing a song about being blue. I've just started taking piano lessons, and I have a lot of fun. I don't know if you take piano lessons, whoever's watching this, but if you do, good for you. And did you know piano is one of the only things that actually uses both sides of the brain? I learned that. both sides at the same time. That's really rare, just saying. Highly unlikely there are very many activities that use both sides of the brain. So in case you're wondering why I'm done with the blue, it's because for your nose, it's painted black. Oh, such an attractive look. Oh, I'm going to sneeze, I can bet you that. Ugh. <coughs> or at least cough. I just look really sooty. I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. You know what? Here's a tip. Breathe out of your nose when you're painting it. Whew. Okay. There you go. So, this is what you're... If you stuck with me, and now you look like an idiot like me, um... Why is this not, why, you know what's really annoying? That this stuff is just not staying, like. Oh, that was painful. Not a joke. Just another note, whichever, um, you know, you have to pick a lip to draw the line on. 
I picked my bottom lip. I think this is very attractive. I should do this all the time. <laughs> Not really. Um, before you eat anything, I would highly recommend washing off the stuff at least around your mouth because that's not going to taste very good. And I have no idea how I'm going to get this off my face. Ah. Okay, so I believe tomorrow I'll be doing Snow White because she was my favorite Disney princess when I was little. So, um, yeah, leave a comment below, a video response, a thumbs up. Tell me something that you liked about this video or what you think I should improve on or something like that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope my school never sees this video because I look really bad. Okay. Bye.